<laughs> Alright, Martin, it's so Sorry, exciting. to play with the short shift until yeah. I actually lift it up and ride right on the cool. screen. Let's do it. It drops out, so then the car drops out. Today, we're going to show you how by installing a short shifter. 30 centimetres. Get a toolbox, get lots of tools, and you can do anything you want in the world. Yes. yes. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need screwdrivers, pliers to get the trim out, you need a socket set, and you need a short shifter. Okay, so the main thing you need, obviously, to do this install is a short shifter kit. We got this one from ozsum.com.au. Ozsum. Ozsum. Uh, in here, you'll have your shorter shifting shifter uh, and all the other bits you'll need to put it in. Marty's going to show you how to do it. It's going to be mad! Reminds me of the first time I put in a short shifter. I spent half a day putting it in my old Subaru Legacy, only to discover that the one that I took out was shorter than the one I put in. So when I got back in the car, I was pulling the gear shift a meter each way. Should have just left it alone. Can we shoot this now, dude? Do it. So much rubber in there. And there's Martin. He's been pumping his shifter for about an hour now and he's almost got it out. Yeah, I don't know about this whole 15 minute install thing. I think that's that's a little bit optimistic. No, I read it on the internet, man, it's true. Oh, it's gotta be true then, on yeah. a forum? Yeah, yeah, it was on <laughs> forum. Sure. There's still a bit of voiceover saying, that's the, uh, that's the snap ring that's a total bitch to get out. I'm not gonna be able to get it out without getting more tools in there, but that's the idea. Um, it prematurely ejected itself. <laughs> She's out. And that changes the pivot point, which makes you throw different, and that's how you get the super short, speedy shifts that you'd expect at your local KFC drive-through. Yeah. 